from what we've seen, I think Ibanez would be a strong favourite for that. But we will see. You're not making tomorrow. a prediction, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> so, on to the welterweights. Bobo Usman Batarov, reigning Asian Games champion from Uzbekistan in the red, 2019 world bronze medalist. He's up against Naveen Bora, 2019 Indian national champion. One of seven Indian men boxers here at the Straja Memorial. He's, I was going to say he's the last one left, but of course we saw that upset earlier from his teammate, Deepak Kumar, beating yes. the world and Olympic champion Shaka Bidin one of the Zoyrov most in the flyweight. Uh, performances of the day. It was, it really was. Naveen in the blue. Bit rough early on. Yes. Well, they did listen to the referee there. So far. Yeah, there, this is a... A barroom brawl. We're up a weight and we're, <laughs> we're back in the phone booth. Free, just letting them get on with it. He, he is. Phone booth only fits two. It's a bit wild from Batarov. But you can see Naveen already sucking in air. There's been more shoulders and elbows than, yep. than punches <laughs> landed. But that takes a toll, you know, this leaning and crushing. Wearing yeah. his Indian opponent down. More than one way to impose your will. Lunge forward with the jab. It landed from Batarov. I mean, Batarov, he just looks a handful to face, doesn't he? He, got, he does. He just disrupts your style. And, and his right hand uh, means business. Tried the right over the top. Batarov. seconds to go in round one it's been a very scrappy opener that's a good word oh that's, that's a, a fall it's got to be a trip yeah not sure Naveen's landed a clean shot in that opening round I'm gonna just uh say that was close I mean there's a lot of activity a lot of uh, aggression and I think uh, both boxers are certainly invested in a, a trip to the final again it's all in the eyes of the beholder Rory it certainly is I see some uh, shifty moves from Naveen. I'm, I'm not sure he, he's really buying into his own movement, though. I'm not sure that's what he wants to do. Just saw Naveen trying to get the jab going, but yep. not really succeeding because Batarov coming forward once more.
Naveen just unable to connect. Agreed. It's it's that's it's got to be frustrating for him because really? he, he's putting the effort in. He's putting the miles in, and you know the the body slamming, and he's he's doing what he can to try to gain an, an edge and an angle, but he just can't find a free shot. Better off hands low now, almost beckoning the Indian onto him. It's not the most pleasing of spectacles, is, let's just say that. This will not be... Well, a, there's a point deduction. That's huge. I feel Naveen's been a bit hard done by there. If... It's the second point deduction we've seen that didn't seem to... I mean, it didn't seem to, that he gained any advantage. Oh, and th there was a... Okay, dusts himself off and gets up and... He's just not been able to get into any sort of rhythm no. here. That was a better left hook from Naveen. Now Batarov trying to turn on a bit of the style. Yeah, he, he's going... Uh, he's going low gloves. You know, that, that point certainly gives you a feeling like, you you know, as long as you hang around, you can win the round. I think Batarov has sized this up and, and, and worked out Naveen can't hurt him. Yeah. He's just going to swing from the hip. Closing seconds of round two. Oh, yeah, good body shot. is is a, a completely different fighter than we saw in round one. I mean, yeah. his style and and I guess that's the confidence and knowing that he has the point certainly. Body shot at the end from Batarov, and he's well on top. I'm looking for the penalty. I wasn't sure because at first I thought he was penalising Batarov, but then it seemed to be Naveen. He could, could well have penalised both, but I, I, I think it was a point off for Naveen. It's the same replay there. So one round to go, and I think we're all of the opinion that Naveen needs something special here. Yes. Well, and again, it would be close, but that, that point penalty just kind of takes the round away from him. Now Batarov certainly has a different disposition than he had for the first round, round and a half. It's like he's just trying to move in and load up. Naveen needs to do a lot more than this. Yes. Is that a low blow? Saw a grimace from Batarov. Who lands. A couple of quick blows on the inside. He's been very good at locating the body. Well, he, he doesn't fear the right or the left no. from Naveen at this point. Very much the equivalent of a, of a grunt in tennis, Rory, from... <laughs> From Batarov. He, Do you think uh, he's trying to influence the judges? Like, this it, is me landing a yeah, shot. Yeah, exactly. You should be scoring this. 
Naveen just looks a little bit out of ideas. It was a big left-right combo. Naveen is trying, but... That's her off well in charge. Yes, and, and he has, he's showing no fear. He, he's standing right there. Coming in, gloves low, looking to unload from, from down by his waist. Fine left. There's a bit of a shuffle, the hot shoe shuffle, and then he goes for a bit of a walk. Almost turned his back on his opponent, yeah. which is never a good idea. And now, a little bit of... Final 20. More good body shots from Batarov. Naveen trying to push his man back into the corner, but this has not, tagged himself. This has not been a sweet science masterpiece. <laughs> no, it has not. Naveen looking a bit frustrated, disgruntled. All we'll of those see. adjectives. We will see. Just a glancing blow there. You see it twice. But uh, I don't think there's any doubt that uh, Batarov has won this. Winner by unanimous decision into the right corner, the boxer representing Uzbekistan, Bob Osman Boturov. Okay, and we will hope for more in the next men's welterweight semi-final. See the point deduction. Couple of 10-8s in the final round for Batarov. Yeah.